Hello everybody and welcome to this scouting report. I'm Dan Hayek here with Matt Doyle in Tucson, Arizona to preview the Chivas USA 2014 regular season. Matt, the biggest news for Chivas this offseason was a change in ownership, Major League Soccer purchasing the club from their former owners, the Chivas de Guadalajara ownership group. As a result, the biggest change on the field is we're probably not going to see the influx of players on loan from the former mothership, Chivas de Guadalajara. Yeah, it's going to be uh, probably Kubo Torres, and that's it this year. And of course, the big question with Kubo Torres is, do you really want to invest a ton of minutes right off the bat with a guy who Jorge Vergara said is returning to Guadalajara in June? Yeah. If Wilmer Cabrera decides not to go in that direction, decides not to invest those minutes in a guy who's not going to be around the whole season, it changes the way this team looks. Maybe Matt Fondi becomes a starter. Maybe they find someone else from Argentina. There are rumors of a new face coming in. It's not really settled up top, but I actually like what they've done with the midfield, uh, getting Tommy McNamara, who looks like a steal out of the draft, getting Mauro Rosales, who looks like the Mauro Rosales of three years ago is so far in preseason. And of course, Osvaldo Minda looks rejuvenated as well. Augustine Pelletieri, another veteran presence in that central midfield. They suddenly have some talent in spaces last year where they just didn't. It's a new look for Chivas, and it remains to be seen how it plays out. Could be a 4-2-3-1 most likely, could be a 3-5-2, but it, it feels like fun for the first time in a long time here. You mentioned that it might be a 3-5-2. Last year they leaked goals. They scored. They conceded 67 in 34 games. Part of that time was playing with a three-man back line. Now they'll have Carlos Bocanegra for a full year. They also have Bobby Burling as a center back option. They added young Andrew Jean-Baptiste, a player I know you love, Matt. So is that a potential three-man back line for Chivas? I, I wouldn't be surprised if we see it situationally this year because all three of those guys are at home playing that type of, of defensive scheme. However, if you look at what Wilmer Cabrera has done thus far in the preseason, he's tried to shift Eric Avila to right back, mm -hmm. which su suggests that he really wants to play sort of a modern four-man back line with overlapping fullbacks. And I like that idea because if you have a guy like that at right back, it means you could make Mauro Rosales completely free to go wherever he wants in attack. And right now, that's Chivas' best bet. So they are going to come out of the gates as an attacking team, I think. It's going to be a lot of fun to watch. They're probably going to be a couple of four to three losses. But hey, like I said, fun. That's the word for Chivas in 2014, and it hasn't been the word for them for a long, long time. Will playoffs be another word we can associate with this team? No, not this year. Look, guys like Jean-Baptiste, Pelletieri, uh, Mauro Rosales, that's an improvement just on talent. Mm -hmm. But it's not going to be enough to catch the rest of the Western Conference because everybody out West has improved this offseason. It's an absolutely murderous group, and it's just too big a hurdle for Chivas USA, but they're not going to be the easy three points that they've been the last couple of years. All right, well, they're going to start on Sunday, March 9th against the Chicago Fire at home. That one kicks off at 3 p.m. Eastern time. You can watch it on Unimas.